Erica Costell reacts to the Jana wedding. Jake Paul is exposed for fake crying. Plus, Tana reacts to Facetune backlash. Hey guys, it's Devonte for Hollywood Live with your YouTube roundup, starting with Tana Mojo. Jake's wifey attended the People's Choice Awards and posted red carpet photos from the event last week. The photos were met with a little backlash from fans who slammed Miss Mojo slash Paul for over face tuning. Well, in her latest post from the event, Tana thanks her manager Jordan for everything he's done for her and ends the caption saying, swipe for a pic of me with less face tune than last time because I'm narcissistic. And sticking with Tana, she also has a live holiday show coming to NYC. NYC on December 17th. Not sure what she'll be doing, but her IG caption says she'll be naked. So if that's your thing, then tickets are selling fast. Now switching gears to Tana's hubby, Mr. Jake Paul, because people are still mad about him fake crying in his video. Boring. But just in case you didn't know, for the past week, Jake's crying has managed to become more of a meme than Logan's three sneezes. And now he's being called out for holding an ice cube up to his face. Keemstar touched on this in a new video and on Twitter where he and Mike May like get into. Oh, sorry. I stopped caring mid sentence. My bad. But all right, from Jake's wife to Jake and now to Jake's ex because it's been a while and she just did an interview with Tom Ward. In the vid, Erica opens up about her stalker forcing her to sell her huge Jeep, being a law and order nerd, and how her DMs are wide open. Sure. But I've tried dating. Like, I tried it. I don't like it in LA. It's really hard. Can you use apps or do you like meet people no, you know? No, I just mutual friends. People, okay. I mean, if someone hits me up in the DMs, maybe. Like, okay. But it doesn't so really, guys, that does work. The so DMs are open, guys. Dick yes. pics do not work. Dick pics hate. I if I if I had a dollar for every unsolicited dick pic that comes to my inbox, I would have. That's not the so way to meet girls. I could buy my Range Rover like today, like right now. But aside from talking about being single, Erica also reflects on her past, like her relationship with Jake, which includes some subtle shade about the Jana wedding. The, the cool thing too, I I want to know what this is like. So you start a YouTube channel. Yeah. He gives you a shout out yeah. and you have a million subscribers in a, in day. a day. What the fuck does that feel you, like? I freaked out. I literally freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I didn't really think that was gonna happen, but like Jerica or whatever was yeah, yeah. already a thing in his vlog, so his audience knew who I was. Okay. So that really helped. And we also got fake married. Yeah. In Vegas. Sure. So sounds familiar. Sounds a little familiar. So um <laughs> And speaking of Jana, Erica opens up more about the couple and says she thinks they just like the attention. What do you think? And I interviewed Jake and Tana. Yeah. I, I love Tana. I did yes. her a couple times. They don't need to do this either. And it's fake. I just think, like the same thing. So they I don't need to. I think they like the... I think they like like the controversy i think it like gets them going like i don't i really don't know because i don't do it but to each their own i it's guess working. it's working yeah i yeah. think and it's pretty like back then it was nice to always wake up and have instant gratification and i think what they're doing is instant and um obviously that feels good to see the numbers and the headlines and like all that kind of stuff but how long can you do that for before it gets old and you, you know what I mean? I feel like it's just like repetitive, but it's working. So yeah, whatever. It's good to see that she's not salty about the marriage. I mean, she did go out to lunch with Jake a couple weeks after the wedding. So I guess it makes sense. Fans even think that Jake and Erica were hanging out again in San Diego recently. But based off these pictures, I can't really say for certain that Erica's in the passenger seat here. But all right, guys, hit that sub, like, and bell button. Comment which starter you picked in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And then follow me on social media to see who I picked.